According to a paper on the assessment of the impact of road restraint systems, RRS, in providing greater safety for road users in Ghana, incomplete installations, improper installation methods, lack of maintenance of existing road restraint systems, and absence of replacement mechanisms of destroyed ones are but a few of the current issues that the country battles with. Crash barriers, which are the most common type of RRS, are typically designed to guide and restrain vehicles ranging from small cars to heavy goose vehicles. On most roads across the country, crash barriers have been left in bad condition after vehicles run into them. In an interview with one of the authors of the paper, engineer Kwabna Bimpon, insurance companies must contribute their quota in addressing the issue of crash barriers. He added that the law enforcement agencies have a role to play in this regard. There's a need for strict, strict, strict enforcement. Yes, we are doing, the education is being done, and we've been doing education for a long time. But without the necessary enforcement, um, we are getting nowhere. In one of the research that I did during the infrastructure conference, I said that the insurance commission must be made to you know, pay for these um, you know, provisions of of road restraint systems and crash barriers, as well when they are hit by vehicles which, you know, do not stop or they do not own up, they need they need to be uh, made to pay. At least they, they should come forward and put some money on the table for these, you know, road restraint systems to be provided. Because at the end of the day, what happens if the vehicle runs off the road? The vehicle will be a write-off. But then if and they will have to pay. I assume it is, it, is, um, it is insured. They have to pay. Now, if it crashes into a crash barrier, the likelihood of it being saved and the occupants also being saved, it's, it's good. So the whole insurance industry must come to the aid you know, to, of, of the road agencies you know, so that we can help prevent um, deaths and also destruction of properties. The Minister of Roads and Highways, Kwesi Amwakwata, explained why destroyed crash barriers were left unattended to for a very long time. Let us get specialist people who will specialize in the area and who will bring in the right materials. Uh, uh, crash barriers, they are not manufactured here, they are imported. Let us get people who will invest there and bring them. That is why crash barriers, when you are driving, eh, you see that some are destroyed. It could be there for, for months, months, so many months, if not years. Do you know why? Because nobody has specialized in bringing that material. So if they are damaged, we don't have, nobody has it in stock. So. <laughs> They are left there, and it's a nuisance. It 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 it, it deforms the entire road. And but if a particular people are identified by the ministry that you say one for each region, we have registered you. Bringing uh, 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 crash barriers. Here are some drivers in Accra lamenting the impact of the inability of the appropriate authorities to replace destroyed crash barriers on the country's roads. Most of the people driver people with the cause that things. Because you know that one if in front in front uh, is try to move up quick and pass through on him. So that he took a few pick a uh, passenger. Or if the, the, the road is one lane, you can feel block one lane that in front, can feel pass through on him, go take a, a passenger. So I can feel advised if government can feel help us to uh, repair the metal for the roadside, it can help us so that if maybe you are sleeping, you are going to another lane, and the damn metal can feel help you, you can join the another lane. They're supposed to come to the roadside and come and see the one that has no face it, then they will fix it back. But if the things poor, they don't want to repair it. Maybe the person get closer to the, the one that has poor. And you that are driving, if not see the person, if the person no water to cross, maybe that thing too has come inside the, the roadside. The moment you are trying to move up 
when the, uh, someone too has passing by, you can't even see the person. Maybe you are seeing that thing, but you can't see that the person was trying to cross. You know that it is danger. There's no street light, and uh, something which That's is there, the crash barriers too is damaged. Means I'm not safe. I'm not safe. Even if there is a street light, accident doesn't matter whether there's a light or no light. You understand? The most important is that the, uh, the barriers must be strong enough. Then at the same time, we must have a repair uh, system. Wherever, anytime this thing got damaged, then we pursue the third party claim insurance to pay. Wow. Yeah, because it's not anything that we have to let the government to come and do it. Let the government to come and do it. No. I've insured my car third party. And my car has caused damage to third party property. You understand? So we have to get the third party claim from the insurance to repair. This thing shouldn't take more than two weeks to repair. Because definitely they have a, a lot of uh, spare ones there. So immediately it got damaged. You took the pictures. Then you come and repair it. Then you take those uh, damaged ones to the insurance company as a salvage. Then you get your claim. Yes, it's very important. So far as the car is insured and the car has damaged the uh, state property, you must get the third party insurance claim for the repair. This is the Achimota to a stretch. Motorists who drive on this road say their lives are endangered. Reason is the numerous crash barriers on the road are destroyed, coupled with the fact that the street lights are non-functioning. They are therefore asking and calling on the appropriate authorities to ask a matter of urgency, fix the situation. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nee Latte.